Hello and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe this is how we're going to get the first look at TF1 Megatron. I was browsing again on the online toy stores and came across this guy. It says chapter 1 in Chinese on the packaging and judging by the fact that it says D16 instead of Megatron, I think it's from the animated film gimmick toy line. Apparently this is from a subline called Micro Launcher, which seems to be a continuation of the Nerf Optimus from Rise of the Beasts. It's been what? like 15 years since I last Gun Megatron so this is great. Once again I've ordered it, went and picked D16 up, expecting a giant blaster like Optimus but he ended up being tiny, which justifies the 9.99 price tag, same price range as the One Steps and the other gimmick toys from the other lines. Let's take a look at him first. First impressions to me he seems like a mix between Earthspark and IDW1. Like he's got Rung's lanky arms, it's weird that he's got a pair of yellow eyes but again it's a prequel film so maybe he's not a bad guy yet. The yellow carries on in small parts but I do quite like yellow being Megatron's highlight colours. It also seems like he's got a rub sign or like a place where his insignia would be. It would be so cool if the rub signs showed up in canon and had a canon explanation. The paint job could be tidier but I mean it's the pr cheapest price point for now. I think a bit of isopropyl alcohol could clean this guy up so I'm not fussed about it. And of course he's got the orange barrel tip. For such a basic figure he's got more articulation than you'd expect. One steps were bricks so I was surprised to see that this guy's got a swivel at the neck, full rotation at the shoulders outwards movement at the shoulders as well, he's got a bicep swivel and a bend at the elbow. Nothing at the legs unfortunately. So the best poses you're going to get out of this guy are like the battle ready poses, honestly the yellow eyes are growing on me more and more. So he has these 5mm ports on the underside of his elbows, I don't know why really. I guess it's for an arm cannon later on? Not really sure but the way this guy looks he's a long way away from being Megatron. For comparison, let's bring in the gimmick toys from Rise of the Beasts, Earthspark and Cyberverse, the three previous lines, and while he's a lot thinner than the rest, he's way taller. I'd say he's almost a short deluxe. Let's make it a Megatron party by bringing in Earthspark Megatron and then the best live action Megatron toy SS109 concept art Megatron, and he's now dwarfed by SS109. I don't know if the new film is connected to the live action films or not but it'd be great to finally have a bit more on Megatron's backstory. So for transformation, open up his back panel and rotate his head inwards, it fits in there nicely, then peg the back panel back into place while flipping up the handle. It's so tiny but I'm pretty sure it says, attention do not aim at the eye or face, eye protection is recommended. That's a good bit of warning to be fair. Right, so using the butterfly joints, hinge his shoulders back, you also have to rotate the arms at the bicep so the fist holes are facing upwards, then tilt the foot inwards. The lower leg is on a double hinge so you untab the outer panel on the main leg and you fold it outwards, fling the whole leg assembly along the chest and do the same on the other side, tilt the ankle inwards, untab the leg panel and unravel it, and tuck the leg onto the side of the chest. And there you have it. D16 in his micro launcher mode. The gun mode is tiny, you could barely hold it but it does pack a punch. It comes with these really soft darts and here you can see it lodged into the barrel. You press this button underneath the gun and off it goes. It's a pretty fun alt mode really, it doesn't say on the packaging what other characters are going to be in this subline but I do hope it's not a one off. I'd love to see an Orion Pax gun. Transforming him back is super simple, it says he's 12 steps on the box but I think they could have counted a bit too much because he really is simple, it's just a matter of untabbing and unfolding, super straightforward stuff and in the blink of an eye you're back in bot mode. So if you haven't noticed by now the date today is April 1st, this is very obviously a 3D printed toy. I know of near nothing in terms of how Megatron will look in TF1. I've had a glimpse at the very rough drawing back in October last year but nothing since. I just based the design on the idea that one, it's going to be a prequel film so it's basically Young Megatron and two, it's going to be the same director as Toy Story 4 so maybe I've pixared him a little bit. But that's it, if he ends up looking like this in the film then cool. 
um, but I am hoping for a more Transformers Prime-esque level of mechanical detail at least, so fingers crossed. So, that brings us to the end of the video. Happy April Fools, and until next year, palm in your face? <laughs>